Hello and welcome to a very special reading vlog. This is not a weekend reading vlog, oh no. As you can tell, my hand is a little shaky because I am leaving the microphone and the tripod behind because I will be going to the hospital. But wait, I'm not going to the hospital for myself this time. My sister is having a baby. Okay, she's not having a baby this minute, but she did go to see her doctor today and her doctor said that the baby could come literally any minute now. My sister is scheduled to be induced in only a couple days time. So right now we are down to the clock and seeing if Harriet will decide to pop out before schedule. So I have for this very special occasion, picked out a few books to read while waiting for Harriet to come into this world. And then I got the galley edits back for my novella, so that may actually be the thing that I wind up reading if she goes into labor tonight. I hope to have those finished and set aside and ready to go, but it's entirely a possibility that I will be working while Harriet is coming into this world. I've also chosen a couple very interesting um, other books to read just in case I manage to get all my work done before the baby starts to come. The first is called Warrior Women by Pamela Toller. It came out earlier this year. I immediately snapped it up and I have not read it yet. And it is a nonfiction book about, you guessed it, warrior women. That's totally up my alley and I kind of am in a mood for something super feminist given that I have a niece coming into this world, you know? Um, the second one that I have on my list is a series of novellas. It's called How the Dukes Stole Christmas, and I don't remember everybody who was in this anthology, but I know that Tessa Dare is, which is why I picked it up. I figured something shorter would probably be good, just in case the labor ends up being really short. So I have something shorter, I have something longer. And then I just got this from the library can't really see the title because the library's little page is on there, but it's called A Royal Guide to Monster Slaying by Kelly Armstrong. Now, I have been to one of Kelly Armstrong's master classes. I have not yet read anything by Kelly Armstrong because she's got so much out there and it's always like, what should I start with? Well, I think this is her debut middle grade book. Since there's, again, a baby, I'm kind of in the mood for something aimed at children. So I decided to pick that one up from the library. I am super excited to see how I like Kelly Armstrong's writing style and then where I will go from there if I do. And if those don't tide me over, I of course still have The Name of All Things by Jen Lians to finish reading. So I am definitely going to have more than enough reading material while I'm waiting for Harriet to arrive. I'm very excited. It's probably gonna be way too exciting and I will be doing none of these things, but I have a reading list, gosh darn it. It's baby time. It is seven o'clock in the morning and she almost came early. I thought for sure it was gonna happen yesterday, but no, we are exactly on schedule. So I am driving an hour to the hospital. I am going to meet them there. And I have changed my reading list on the way because my favorite author, Alyssa Cole, just released a book two days ago called The AI Who Loved Me and I've got just over an hour left and I've got just about an hour's drive to get there so it sounds pretty perfect. Will I reach the hospital first or will I reach the end of the book first? We'll find out. I made it to the hospital and I'm not quite done with The AI Who Loved Me but I'm very very close 
It's really, really good. One part romantic comedy, one part sci-fi thriller. I love the um, world that Alice Cole has created for these um, artificial intelligences. I love the way Leeway is learning how to be human and all of the implications. And I'm really loving all of these pieces about the past that are unfolding. Now I'm into the really exciting part um, the really thriller-ish part, and I am only about half an hour left in the book, and I can't wait to finish it. But I'm at the hospital, which means I'm going to go see my sister now, as soon as I figure out a way to get that lovely wheelchair out of the back. Internet, this is Harriet. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. Well, I'm now home again. What a day it's been. I very much need to put some heat on my wrists and ankles. So let's keep this a little bit short. Did I read as much as I had picked out? Well, no, I think I chose four books for this. But also my sister ended up having the baby really, really quickly. So the only book I ended up finishing was the one that I had read going into the hospital. On the way back, I listened to the very last bit of The AI Who Loved Me, which was so fantastic. I absolutely love the action at the end, just had me gripped all the way home. Um, until it ended and then I had to put on a different book so I just chose uh, The Name of All Things because that was easy and right there and uh, it carried me the rest of the way home on my aching ankles and wrists. Totally worth it.